the more that you love golf, the more you try to understand it, the more you try to understand it, the more you love it, so that you spend your entire life trying to figure it out, and you never do. All right, that was a clip from the documentary, Be the Ball. The film is billed as an experiment which pro golfers and amateur golfers are interviewed, monitored, and trained to find the zone. And we welcome in Eric Anders Lang, the director of the film, Into the Turn. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right. Uh, listen, you work with Moby, mm -hmm. Chuck D, yeah. and Pharrell. What drew you to golf? It's a good question. I mean, golf is really an awesome sport, you know, and I think that that's kind of the goal here is to really depict it in that light and to show that, I mean, even Chuck D, he's, he's all about the mental game, you know, yeah. not a golfer, but he's all about the mental game. So right. it's, it's, it's a thread that goes through all my work. And, and how did this experiment get going for you personally? Yeah, uh, basically I saw that no one had really addressed it in the way that, you know, I thought would be interesting as far as like, you know, when I was, I was playing a lot of golf when I first started five years ago, and I was reading Zen Golf, and I saw the Caddyshack clip with Bill Murray, you know, and I saw that The Legend of Beggar Vance was based on some ancient Hindu text, and I was like, wait a minute, why am I, why am I finding all this out? Why isn't there a movie that actually goes through and lays it all out, and then, as you just said, actually tests this theory on competitive players of today? So that, because no one's done it, really. It's simple. Eric, can you describe what the focus band is? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, focus band. It's a, it's, a, it's a piece of technology that you wear, so it's a wearable technology, and basically it can read your brain activity and differentiate between hemispheres. Where do, where do you wear it? You just wear it. It's like a baseball hat. Okay. Literally, yeah. It would just look like a normal golf hat or whatever. And it reads your brain activity and can differentiate between hemispheres, and then it can basically tell you which hemisphere you want to be in before you hit the golf ball. <laughs> Gift it's for, amazing. Hold on, gift yeah. for shame. <laughs> gift for shame, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll just wear it on the show. <laughs> um, it's pretty amazing to wear around because you can see what takes you out of the zone. Got it. And you talk about the zone. Yeah. Um, you know, the idea of being in a place where you're mentally, I'm assuming, you know, invested in the situation in the moment. Do you really feel like amateur golfers can experience the zone as you talk about it? Absolutely. You, yeah, and I think, I think what draws people to golf is that they found the zone but slipped out of it. You know, I think when you really do hit that pure shot, you have to be in the zone. You know, there's, there's no way that your body can, can perform all these millions of minor movements, you know, from nothing, from, from just standing there thinking about water right, water right, water right. How do, you, how do you hit a draw there? You know what I mean? It's pretty hard. So I think that every golfer has done it, and that's what makes it so addictive is that you're trying to get back to it again and again. And, and I've heard from, from instructors and in, in reading books that when I think mentally don't hit it right, my brain only takes in hit it right. Yeah. It doesn't take in the don't. Is that correct? Yeah, well, your brain is, has a picture there. And a picture, it wants to perform the picture, right? It wants to make that happen. So one of the most interesting parts of the experiment we're going to do is we're going to ask people before they hit a shot, what does a perfect shot look like? Because that's actually way more valuable than, you know, what don't you want to do or, let's say, analyze the whole. What you really want to do is visualize the perfect shot. And when you ask the mind a question, it wants to answer. I'm not sure if I need you to caddy or if I'm scared of you to caddy for me. <laughs> so much going on. Um, we have a trailer for the film. Uh, let's watch a clip right now. To me, uh, spiritual is that which takes us beyond ourselves. Golf's an ideal uh, way of accessing that. What's possible for me that I never expected or saw? And I think golf on a daily basis can bring that out. It's just going out there and saying, I know what I can do, and I'm going to go out and play my best. In a way, yes, I do believe it's spiritual. Are we spiritual beings living a human existence, or are we human beings living a spiritual existence? The game, G-A-M-E, God and me. This now golf is my spiritual practice. It doesn't matter whether you're Christian, Buddhist, Hindu, or whatever you are, or an atheist. This is something, it's because we're, we're humans. Interesting. Why do you think golf is a spiritual experience? Well, I will quote Bill Murray here. And when I interviewed him, I said, you know, is golf a spiritual game? And he said, you know, he took a long pause. Like, it was an uncomfortable pause. And then he said, just because it's golf doesn't mean it shouldn't be. Just because it's golf doesn't mean it shouldn't be. And then I'll go further. I said, what is golf? And he said, golf is an opportunity. 
I, I need to be wearing that hat to right. truly understand <laughs> that, I think. Um, when is your target date uh, to release the film? We are coming out August 2016, which is coincidentally when golf is reinstated into the Olympics. Yeah. Well, perfect. Well, Great. Yeah, yeah, we appreciate you coming on. It's awesome. I'm excited Thanks, to see right. it. Yeah, for more information, the film, visit the website at betheballmovie.com. Thanks so much for coming in, Eric. Thank you.